Well, good afternoon and welcome back to Texas Know How. Today we're going to be talking about Dura coating the Tuckerov TT33 or Yugo M57. As you can see, I've got the M57 broken down into its component parts and over here you'll notice I've got the 1911 style grips that I've done a video on previously. Those have come off and up here are the plugs used to cover the safety catch and those are the screws used to hold the grips on. One of the things that I love about Russian rep weapons is that they are so rudimentary and take so few tools to disassemble. As you can see I've got a flat tip screwdriver and a small Phillips head screwdriver that I've used as a punch and of course my hex key set for taking the grips off and that's all I needed to field strip this complete weapon. I just hope it goes back together as easy as it came apart. I've got the Duracoat shake and spray kit that I purchased from Holtz Enterprises. That's the uh, retailer online that sells Duracoat firearm finishes. I think uh, shipping and all it cost me about $49 and I will be using a Duracoat Combat Black to refinish this pistol with. I have all the small components taken apart and these are in my makeshift spray booth the instructions from Duracoat suggest three coats and waiting five minutes between each coat. This is my makeshift spray booth out of a cardboard box. Over here I have the Duracoat Combat Black paint, the hardener in the middle, and the jar with a prevail sprayer to mix it together. I'll be using those components to mix up the paint and paint these parts. As suggested in the instructions from Duracoat, I will be putting three coats on here now these little parts I'll have to make a coat and wait a few minutes and then make another coat after flipping them over to get good coverage on all the parts. My other parts I have hanging from a coat hanger in the garage. Let me show you those. Here are my major components of the gun. I have the barrel, the frame, and the slide. And I've used paracord, well at least the inner strands of paracord to tie them to a coat hanger so I can hang them and spray them and get good complete coverage. You'll notice on the slide I did not take out the firing pin or the extractor. My hope is that this won't be a problem with these parts. We'll just have to see once we're all done. I realize that the barrel in its natural configuration is steel unfinished but I'm going to go ahead and paint it black 
to match. Okay, I got a battery exhausted message on my camera right before I finished up with showing you these parts suspended from the coat hanger. And I just wanted to make sure that everyone saw how I had suspended these parts. And let me get in here if I can and zero in on this firing pin group. I covered the firing pin group with blue painter's tape. I'm, my hope is that I won't have to take it apart or take the extractor out to make this a good finish using the Duracoat. I have applied the first coat of Duracoat to the small components. Over here is my bottle of Duracoat with a Prevail sprayer. And I got this first coat on a little heavy. Now I'm going to let it dry for quite some time before I flip these parts over and put a coat on the other side. I've also got a first coat on the major components, the slide, the frame, and the barrel. Again, I got a little heavy on the coats. Now I know how that sprayer works. In the future, my coats won't be as heavy. I believe I'll be able to achieve a very nice finish and I think I'll be very pleased with the outcome of this project. As I go on and put further coats on, I'll come back and we'll look at them again. I'm going to let these coats dry. It says five minutes between each coat, but since I put it on so heavy, I'm probably going to wait 30 minutes between each coat. Once you mix the Duracoat finish with the hardener in the Prevail sprayer, you have six to eight hours to use it before it hardens. So I should have plenty of time to come back and do subsequent coats lighter this time. Okay, we have all the parts painted. They've had three coats on them. Real good thick coats. And we'll be putting the gun back together after they set up and dry. I'm going to let this dry overnight. As you can see, the barrel, frame, and slide have also had three coats put on them. They're drying, and as I said before, I'm going to let these dry overnight before I put the gun back together, and we'll take a look at how she looks after she's done. I think I'm going to be pleased with it. After all, this is a cheap gun that I didn't pay very much for. I put some 1911 style grips on it modified the safety and now I've refinished it I think it'll make a pretty nice everyday carry weapon when I'm finished with it well here it is we've got the Yugo 57 all put back together and the finish came out nice I'm very pleased with it the one thing that I did have to do was I had to go back and strip the barrel. Uh, the finish impeded with the action on the barrel, so I did have to go back and strip the barrel. Other than that, 
everything looks really nice on it real pleased with it the floor plate of the magazine was refinished also it looks good and that does it for our video on refinishing the Yugo M57 with the Duracoat finish. Thank you for watching and tune in next time to Texas Know How. Thanks again.